my cuties, my cuties, Garam, she's delicious, cancer. Welcome to your love tarot reading, every day, baby. I am back, my baby. We are at the Rock of Aphrodite again. You cannot see the sea, or just by the sea, you can probably hear the sea, my baby. Starting off the new year with all the love in the world, my baby. This is such a magical place as well, by the way. Uh, so I'm sending you the magic. Today we're doing the classic you riches. Then we're going to see what is going on between you and your person, my baby, my baby. Whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, snake in the grass, you know, <laughs> seaweeds. I don't know. Seaweed. Seaweeds. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Every time I talk about nature in this place, I'm like, I know no nature. Like, I'm just, whatever, city girl. All right, so let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is happening for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in their person. How are you doing, Cancer? I'm so sorry, your mommy kind of disappeared again. I needed to take some time out for myself, even the serious, 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 uh, sometimes need a moment. It's such a beautiful day. You know, it's so quiet here, although there's always so many Taurus. But it's so quiet here, like you can hear the sea. All right, but Bill, your person, douche flute. Someone's being haunted by what they did to you, the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Wands. They know that they aggressed you a little too much than someone who knows they pushed you too far. And they cause you a lot of worries. And uh, they're also getting their karma. This is uh, the Irenes here, the uh, agents of justice in Greek mythology, uh, but also revenge. <laughs> so they're getting revenge. Someone's getting avenged. You're getting avenged, Cancer. <laughs> douche flu, douche flu, toss anyone in between. You know, gender is arbitrary, but this person knows they did you a big boot bill. And they pushed you and pushed you and pushed you. And <laughs> they're being haunted by dreams of you as well. Ten of Swords, they do see with someone they had a terrible, like, you know, this is an ending ending. This isn't, you know, a bad pause or anything like this is an ending. And again, the Irenes are in this card as well right here. Look at these little <laughs> demons. Mm, these are the Irenes, the goddesses of vengeance. Wowzers. This person knows that the way they ended things with you is causing karma in their life. Hmm. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, but... At the end of the day, it is someone who would like to say, I'm sorry. They don't know how. Let's see what happened in the past to make the situation. So, also, Kinsey, welcome to Blue Angel of Tarot, my baby. I love you. I see you. I appreciate you. Give your mommy a kiss. Mm -hmm. oh, love you so much, Kinsey. As you know, I'm a Scorpio Sun and Rising, so we're two little grabby crustaceans in the zodiac, two little cousins. Oh, and I really vibe with you. You know, I always get these downloads very spiritual downloads what I'm doing your reading. So let's see what's coming up today. What happened in the past, angels? <clears throat> also, what are you manifesting right now in your life, Cancer? Because I feel like your manifestations are going to be very strong. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I think <clears throat> you could have met this person when you were feeling like, you know, for some of you, if it was a bimbo, himbo, anyone in between, you met on Tinder on the Tuesday, this Queen of Swords was ready for something serious and something that does not, um, disappoint i'm sorry i looked up because i'm just saying birds i don't know what that was i think it's seagull again no nature knowledge but i think that was a seagull uh very big one albatross do they have these in cyprus i don't know let me know in the comments below uh the 10 of cups here in the past for your person so this is someone who if it was a new energy you were ready for something serious you were done with all the douche flutes you know you're like i don't want another disappointment i don't want another trauma nothing like that and then this person was like, this is exactly what I want. Like, you are the one for me. Four of Wands between you. It felt like a soulmate reunion and probably was, but Belle, you met for a reason. But you felt brokenhearted by this person in the end, the Three of Swords. You felt brokenhearted by them. Could be someone who's very, like, suited, suited and booted, you know, regardless of gender. This is someone who's very, like, you know, Hillary. Hillary vibes, like suit and booted, uh, someone who's got the shoulder pads on, someone who's very, like, very successful, like a golden boy, golden girl energy, anyone in between. I mean, on paper, they seem perfect, but they broke your heart with the way that they ended things. Wowzers. And they have guilt over it. What happened here? Because this person is, like, so in love with you. Yeah, Five of Cups. They ran away from a problem. They ran away from you. This could be a ghost energy, could be uh, someone who, when the relationship was starting to flourish, kind of ended it. Because they were afraid, someone also has a punishing mother, 
or a, like a parent told them to end it because for some reason, you know, for some of you could be this person, like, is, like their family perceive you both to be from a different social class. So it was almost someone who was like, you can't be with that person, like their parents, or I don't know, people around them or their own demons told them, I can't be with this person. They have enough money, they have enough clout, they have enough something, not enough followers. But I strongly feel a mother's interference was making that person feel like you weren't good enough for them in some way. Somebody could have been accused of being a gold digger as well. This is high drama, cancer. Why do we always get these storylines? Let me know in the comments below. Ah, <sighs> if it was an established connection, you do have someone here who was continuously breaking your heart because they were continuously unavailable to you emotionally and uh, letting you down, essentially. They're always letting you down with the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords, even though they always returned in a way. So it's always, always like, could have been one of those marriages of 20 years where you were fighting a lot or you, uh, this person knew you were dissatisfied. But in the end, they always knew you'd get back together kind of thing. Or like, you know, <clears throat> threatening divorce, but not doing it. And that was toxic about this relationship. Also, you know, again, other people perceiving this relationship that one person from, was from a, one class or like one, I don't know, one type of way of thinking or lifestyle. And the other person was from a different lifestyle. It could be like, you know, working class versus, you know, someone who came from a rich family and you felt like you were always kind of being beaten down. It could be vice versa, take it as it resonates, baby. And in the end, this person broke your heart because this time around they didn't return. And they know that the ending was very, very bad. And it's almost like they could have told you, like, I know, I know I'm gonna get punished by God for this or something like that. You know, like something's gotta give here. The Eight of Cups in their intentions, this is someone who wants to keep running away because the problem is too large for them to tackle. <clears throat> they want to keep running away, but they're hoping you're going to find them. This is weird. They're, they're hoping you're going to be the one to repair it, but why should you? And they know that. Um, the Queen of Wands, but Bill, uh, in terms of what to expect from them in the near future. So if you're hoping for reconciliation, this person will reach out to you with renewed energy. It may take some, some time and maybe you'll be waiting until springtime to hear from this person. This person needs to work through some mommy issues here. Uh, daddy, anyone in between, like I say, gender is arbitrary, but the archetype here is the feminine, so it is the mother. What do you want, cancer? Let's get some advice from my cancer, baby. It's okay, Bippo. Is this person even worth it? It's all That's always a question of Blue Angel of Tarot. You know what I mean? Bippo, King of Wands. You believe this person is your twin flame or your soulmate, like that's what you believe. This is your advice. This is what you believe. If that's truly what you believe, then fight for this love. However, let's see if there's other options. Nine of Wands. <sighs> Cancer baby. Listen, it's up to you. Ask yourself, would your high order soulmate, would your twin flame, would your scratch just a little bit boo behave the way this person behaved? Because you're, I feel like your energy is stuck on this person with the nine of wands because there's unfinished business and you feel like you are meant to be together. And I think this person has told you that before. Even if it was a new energy, it feels like that. But at the same time, is their behavior matching the spiritual investment that you're making into this uh, situation? Because you could be making a new start here with the ace of swords quite possibly. I don't know. New year, new douche flute. You know how it goes. New year, new PPVV, anyone in between. Have fun with it, baby. All right, my baby. This is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below. This is your story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification button because that really helps your mommy out with the AI overlords at YouTube. And if you are interested in the personal reading, all the info is down below. Magic spells, coaching, anything you need, my baby. I'll see you next time, my babies. Stay spiky, stay good, you stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm. <laughs> now I gotta get uncomfortably close to the camera as always. Mm.